Hello and welcome to this episode of Makeupbox Mondays. In this episode I'm going to have a look at a filament from Toner Plastics called ASA Black. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is called ASA Black and let's have a look at the label. Um, yeah, they say uh, print temperature should be 240 to 250. And bed temperature should be 90 to 130 and speed 50 to 90 and cooling low or none and I believe I was having like 10% or 20% fan for one my prints on this one and here they say enclosure and ventilation advised and uh, similar with APS you want a pretty stable te temperature when printing but here they say ASA, ASA is a thermal plastic created to be similar to APS but with better weather resistance, ASA combination of high strength and flexibility along with its superior UV resistance make it ideal for printing objects. It may be used in the outdoors and or in industrial settings due to its, due to its high glass uh, transition temperature. A heated bed is required to successfully print with ASA. And I believe I was having like 85 degrees temperature in the, in the cabinet while I was printing. But let's have a look at the prints. My first print didn't actually finish. I had a little bit of spidey. <laughs> but I believe this is not the fault of the filament. The, the, it came loose from the bed and I then cleaned the bed a little bit <laughs> and had no issues with layer uh, bed adhesion. So it just came off, but I want to show you the benzene nevertheless because it looks pretty great, uh, except of course it didn't finish. <laughs> so here on the bow, on the underside, it's really clean. Uh, it's maybe difficult to see on the camera, but you can see it's really shiny and, and the print looks absolutely great. Uh, no issues, and like no issues here on the, uh, on the front part because of too little cooling. But this was giving me excellent results. I then printed out my Maker coin, and here I had a tiny amount of overhang issues. It's, uh, very difficult to see. It's black. <laughs> Trying to rotate it, and maybe see it in this angle. There's a slight like, drooping on the underside here, but other than that, the, the coin came out excellent. So, look, quite shiny filament and uh, absolutely pitch black <laughs> so it's difficult to get the right lighting <laughs> for the camera but it looks really nice really clean clean print um, and then printed the uh, it layers a lot um, that came out excellent as well um, don't believe there is uh, any issues the overhangs here are very nice and absolutely no issues so it was looking Really nice. Uh, I believe this is uh, probably the best ASA print I've done. I've tested out a few ASA materials, but uh, always had uh, some issues <laughs> with, with surface quality and overhangs. But here, overhangs are pretty good. So if you give it a little bit of cooling, uh, then I think you can get great results. Um, and finally, I did the artist model by Gareth. Um, Besides running out of filament, here I had a little bit of, of overhang issues, but uh, the back side here is looking really great and absolutely no stringing. Um, as before, it's difficult to show the black, <laughs> black stuff, uh, but uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, so overall, I was really happy with this filament. I got the excellent surface finish and. and uh, just had to adjust maybe the fan a little bit for for overhangs. It uh, performs much better than ABS, <laughs> though in regard to overhangs because uh, you can have a little bit of cooling. But uh, other than the, the benzene skipping off the bed, uh, that was my fault. <laughs> uh, I got really nice prints, and I was quite happy with this filament. So if you have a chance to take this filament out at Toner Plastics, 
www.facebook.com then and also uh, but this will be it for this video i hope you like what i'm doing here on the channel and if you do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment so for now i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one